Good morning and welcome to all to this service of morning prayer on Sunday the 31st of January. Today is the fourth Sunday of Epiphany, but here at church we're going to be keeping the Feast of the Presentation of Christ in the Temple, which we're going to be focusing on in our service of the Word at 10 o'clock, if you're able to join us for that, which will also be live streamed to our Facebook page. This is a service of morning prayer for today. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed to you, sovereign God, King of the nations. To you be praise and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The Jubilate. We'll be joyful in the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 71, verses 1 to 6 and verses 15 to 17. O God, be not far from me, in you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence even from my youth. Until you have I learned from my birth, when you drew me from my mother's womb, my praise shall always be of you. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and salvation all the day long, for I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God, I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me since I was young. To this day I tell of your wonderful works. O oh God, be not far from me. Faithful Lord, living Saviour, in youth and old age, from the womb to the grave, may we know your protection and proclaim your great salvation to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verses 4 to 10. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, truly I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am only a boy, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, 
for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and over kingdoms to block up and to pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. Here ends our first reading. Song of the New Jerusalem Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Though night still covers the earth, and darkness the peoples, above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light, and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard no longer in your land, or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight, nor moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your splendor. For you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Above you the Holy One arises, above you God's glory appears. Our second reading is taken from St Mark's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 40 to 45. A leper came to him, begging him, and kneeling he said to him, if you choose, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean. After sternly warning him, he sent him away at once, saying to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded as a testimony to them. But he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the word, so that Jesus could no longer go into a town openly, but stayed out in the country, and people came to him from every quarter. Here ends our second reading. The Benedictus. This is the Christ, the chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets God promised of all, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. This is the Christ, the Chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. So let us pray. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us safely to the beginning of this day, and having this opportunity to hear the words of Scripture and to meet together to make our prayers. As we pray for this day, we pray especially for our brothers and sisters who will be meeting for prayer and worship across the world today. For those both locally and globally, for those who will be able to meet in person and those who will be joining together as we are online. 
We thank you, Lord, for the technology we have, which is able to keep people in touch with each other. That even when we are not able to be together physically, we can be together spiritually and through the prayers that we make. As we pray for our world today, we continue to pray, Lord, for your great gift of peace, for an end to warfare and conflict wherever it is found. We pray for those people for whom today will bring only fear and darkness. And we pray that as we think about the presentation of Christ in the temple, of Jesus being a light in the world, we pray that that light may shine into the dark corners, that it may banish the darkness and overcome evil, problems, anxieties and fears. We pray, Lord, for your people here on earth, each created in your image. We pray for those things and ask that you would break down the barriers that divide us. We pray for an end to those things which cause problems between people, that bring about hatred. And we pray, Lord, for your love. We continue to give thanks for all those who are fighting this global pandemic. We pray for those who are using their medical and scientific skill, for those who are caring for those unwell, and those who care for those who mourn. We pray, Lord, for all those places where the vaccination programme is being rolled out. We give thanks for those who are administering it, and those working out the logistics, and for those who've received their vaccinations so far. We give thanks that this is a vaccination that will be available to all people, and we pray that this is so. So as we think about Jesus being presented in the temple, so we give thanks for the song of Simeon, for the witness of Anna, and for Jesus' place in our own lives, as we are presented once again to him today. We thank you, Lord, that you walk with us, that you guide us and you strengthen us through each and every step of our lives. We continue today to pray for those who go out to work and those who work from home. We pray for those who are our key workers, for those who find themselves on the front line, for those who've had to retrain for different jobs. We continue also to pray for those who are furloughed, who feel frustrated at not being able to work, and for those who've lost their employment. Lord, we ask that you would be with those who try to help them, for charities, for our food banks and our food larders and cooperatives, and for all those who work in our communities as volunteers. We pray, as we have done in these past few months, for our health service, the health service which has seemed so often overwhelmed. We give thanks, Lord, for all those who've heard your call, who have trained to be doctors and nurses and to work within our hospitals in various different roles and responsibilities. As we hear in our readings today, we are looked after from the womb, from the cradle, right through to the grave. So we pray for all those who work in our hospitals, those in intensive care units, on the wards, working behind the scenes, and for our chaplains who provide pastoral care and support. We pray for our hospices, for our care homes, nursing homes, and sheltered accommodation. We pray for those who work out in the community, for those who provide for people's needs at home. We pray for our GP surgeries, our pharmacies and health centres, and all places where medical care can be received today. As we've heard in our Gospel reading, Jesus welcomed all who came to him in need of healing and wholeness. And so, Lord, we bring to you now those we know, those we carry in our hearts and minds, and those who are on our prayer lists, who are in need of that healing touch, and ask, Lord, that you would grant it to them today.
Lord, be with them and give strength to those who care for them. And so we pray for those who have died, especially for those who have died this past night, for those who have died recently, for those whose funerals will take place this week, and for those whose anniversaries occur at this time. Lord, we ask that you bind up the brokenhearted, for those who carry that great pain of bereavement with them, for those for whom today will be a difficult one. God, our Creator, who in the beginning commanded the light to shine out of the darkness, we pray that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ may dispel the darkness of ignorance and unbelief, shine into the hearts of all your people, and reveal the knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for this service of morning prayer today. We have our service of the word at 10 o'clock, which will also be live streamed to our Facebook page, and evening prayer at 5 o'clock this evening. If you're able to join me for either or both of those services, it's always lovely to have your company. In the meantime, I do hope that you have a good day today, that you stay safe, take care, look after yourselves, and you remain, as always, in my prayers.